Hey, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year and today it's Sunday the 25th of June and I'm making a rare foray down in the south of England I'm playing a couple of Mizuno tournaments Monday, Tuesday down south so I thought I'd get myself down we got a wee game the day before so it's going to be course number 80 I'm in West Sussex Copthorne Golf Club let's go and see what it's got Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 80 of 2023, it's Copthorne Golf Club on the tee, the man making his debut in West Sussex from Kirkintilloch in Scotland, Smithy! First hole at Copthorne, uh, 350 yards, uh, that's a straight one, tree lined either side, roasting hot this afternoon, I'm not used to this way down south, a rare foray. I'm looking down at the green at the first. And I've just noticed there's a stream. Can't call it a burn in England, can we? Running in front of the green. Uh, second toll at Copthorne, first day par fives, 500 yards. Straight down, a little hedgy thing. Bushies there in the middle of the city, it's a tight drive. It's going to dog leg up to the left towards the hole. Ah, uh, dog leg opening out, approach down to the second. First day par 3, 177 yards at Copthorne, the third hole. Fourth hole at Copthorne, to a shorter par 4, 319 yards. Fade into the right, down the bottom, so it's a, a small dog leg. I'm looking in towards the fourth green, uh, short par 4, fourth. I uh, still can't see the green, uh, grinds on a higher level, it dips down. Fifth hole, 375 yards, uh, that's another dog leg, this time to the left. Then into the dip, up onto the rise there, flat bit at the top, then round to the left. On the fairway at the fifth, towards the fifth green here when the dog leg opens out. Narrow between the trees. Hole number six at Copthorne, it's another par five. 472 yards, and this time it's absolutely straight. Slight rise to begin with, then onto the level. Again, tight with the trees. And the approach into par 5 sixth. Bunker front left, I think there's a bunker back right. There's a bunker back left as well. And here's what we didn't notice in the approach to the sixth. The ditch running across. Couldn't see it from behind. And a bunker front right as well. I've cleared the ditch, but I've gone out to the right. Might be in that bunker. Cop on hole number seven. Uh, second day of the par threes, 175 yards, slightly elevated tee, so it's a slightly downhill trajectory to the green. Bunkers front right, front left. Eighth hole, third day of the par fives in the front nine, 517 yards. Downhill, uh, I'm not sure where it goes. Can't see the board in this one. Back up at the meadow tee. You play across that pond there. I'm not sure where the energy has been moved forward today. I don't know. On the fairway at the 8th, that doesn't look too far to the green. I could hit this in two if I was on the fairway. Um, over there to the right. Blocked by the trees, I think. A uh, closer look at the par 5 8th, and there's a ditch of the stream that we didn't see before. Fortunately, my second shot's just stopped just short of it. Nice shot through the trees though. There we are looking down the eighth green. Got about a 30 foot shot, the Smithy ball. On a dance floor, birdie opportunity, but we're way at the back of the dance floor. You can hardly hear the band playing. Ah, the ninth hole. Ah, that's a long one. 416 yards. A ditch running across the middle. Stroke index two. Got the dog leg down to the right slightly as well. On a tight drive as well, the trees. The green at the ninth. The ditch running across the front there. Well, and that's the end of the first half here at Copthorne. And uh, Smithy against the golf course. Uh, I'm a half shot down. That means I'm a half shot above my handicap. Would have been more. But for the ninth there, just chipping in from about 25 yards. For a five instead of a seven. That'll do. Right, we're galvanised for the back end. It's a par 4 at 329 yards. It's like dog leg to the right, ditch running across diagonally to the right hand side as well. It's the 11th hole, 381 yards. 
and they're very fond of the dog legs here. Here's another one. Quite a sharp one right to the right. Oh, it's a sharp dog leg at the 11th, but it's a, quite a rise up to the green up there. To a full at Colchthorn, 141 yards. Got a nasty bunker sitting in front of the green there. On the 13th hole at Compton, and it's the last of the four par fives on the course. 480 yards, relatively straight, slight incline. It's going to fade round to the right a wee bit, not a dog leg, just a fade. And a long look up to the 13th, the par five, up to the green. You can see a bunker left. Oh, there must be one on the right somewhere. Still a long way. Well, let's walk up to the green, par five, 13. Big bunker on the right hand side, a bunker over there on the left. Smithy ball in the middle in three. Oh, that's about 16, 17 feet away for the bird date. Oh, I just missed the bird to be six or seven inches to the left, easy par. On a hole number 14 at Copthorne, par four, 382 yards, it's a tough one. Again, dog leg right to the left. Quite a tight drive through the trees. It's a green at the 14th when the dog leg opens out. And again, I pushed another one right again. So I had to come out from between the trees once more. Costing me a good few shots. Just maybe take an iron off the tee. And the last of the four par threes in this course. So that's a 15th hole at Copthorn. 170 yards. That's a straight one, bunkers either side. Relatively straightforward. That's the wee bit I could do with a 20 yard short, it would do me. That's the green at the 15th. Smithy ball, once more on his dash floor. Oh, that must be about 12, 13 feet away. Closer this time. So that's the four par threes. So far I'm one over par for the par threes. Get this to be a level par for them all. Not proving any trouble to me today. Oh, pathetic birdie attempt on the last, leaving it two foot short. But it's another par. Oh. Baking hot this afternoon. Plenty of fluids, we'll need them before this one, stroke index one. 16th hole and it's 447 yards par four. Zigzagging in and out of the trees. That's going to be a tough one. I think this is the hottest I've played in this year. But as a lovely breeze just picks up every now and then, bliss. Ah, uh, 17th at Copthorne, 338 yards. Wee bit of trouble with ditches running about all over right and left. Uh, try and put it on that patch of land down the middle there. And then there's a slight fade to the left to the green. This is the view into the 17th green, if my ball was in the middle of the fairway. And here's the view from my ball, a wee bit further right. Let's bring the tree into play, only fair. And there's the ditch, we're going in there. But we've put the recovery ball to a foot away. Well, I've come to the last hole, this lovely Copthorn course. Smithy against the golf course. I'm a shot down, which means I need a par at the last for the tie. Birdie to win it. Oh, some chance. Anyway, here we are at 18, 376 yards. And as I said, they do like a dog leg. This one's dog leg and left, slightly up the hill towards the clubhouse. The approach to the green at the 18th. Green the left hand side, a couple of bunkers around it. Really need to hit this green to give myself a chance. Oh, about 30 yards short of the green in two. Need to get up and down from here. Look around, clubhouse there. That's me just finished on the 18th at the Copthorne Golf Club in West And uh, what a find, tremendous course, excellent uh, woodland course, course is in tip top condition, no real standout holes but it's just top quality right throughout the course, really varied, uh, fairways are excellent, the greens are absolutely superb, great condition, thoroughly enjoyed the course, it's been baking hot today, oh, plenty of Pepsi Max with me, what can I give the course, it's going to be a big 8.5 for me. So 60 quid normally on a Sunday, 30 quid's the braid price, uh, 50 quid the normal price during the week. 
Yeah, I can't have any complaints at that. It really is really excellent quality. So that's all for me today. I was going to go and play another course, but it really is too hot. And I've had uh, five hours of driving today already to get here. So I think we'll just settle down for the night. I'm off to play in the Mizuno once tomorrow. See you later.